Hi, this is Phil to the Brim. It is Monday, April 13th. Happens to be my son's birthday, Brandon's birthday. So if you see him, wish him a happy birthday. What a great day we had in the house of the Lord yesterday with the word about Jehovah Rapha, our healer. If you didn't have time to uh, tune into that, please uh, take a time to listen to that word. It was a very powerful time. I just felt the power of the Holy Spirit flow. And I believe that healing is going to come to many people who listen to that word. Today, this is Monday, April 13th. I have a word for you. Uh, the Holy Spirit, right when I woke up this morning, even before I got my coffee, which is a miracle, uh, just spoke to my heart. The, the scripture that Jesus speaks about in uh, Matthew chapter 10, 38 through 39. I'm going to read this to you. And it's out of my uh, devotional kind of schedule because I'm actually in the book of Ephesians. But the Holy Spirit just really quickened my heart to this scripture. Matthew 10, 38 and 39. And he who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. You know, what quickened my heart was... The Lord's saying to me, the secret to an abundant, fulfilling life is to give your life away. To give your life away to me. Not just give it away to anyone. To give your life away to me. That as you pick up your cross, that means crucifying your flesh and allowing your your life to be under submission to the will of the Father, as you do that, you will find meaning and fulfillment. How many times have I met Christians who are still trying to find meaning and fulfillment in their life when the answer is already there? To give your life away. To give your life away, not live a life in the flesh and to uh, satisfy the fleshly desires, but to give your life away to Christ and say, Lord, use me. So many times people are waiting for the big thing, the big opportunity, the big open door. Uh, you know, when God's going to use me in a big way and in the truth, he likes to use us in what we would consider small ways, but are actually big ways to him. See, eternity and heaven's perspective is very different than our perspective here on earth. You know, we sell, especially in our culture, we celebrate the big things. We celebrate the big things on TV and how many followers and how many likes and how, what's popular and what's trendy and et cetera, et cetera. What's the most, the most important thing that's going on. And a lot of times as Christians, we buy into that and then we bring it into our faith when it's, that's not how God sees things at all. That's not how Jesus sees things at all. And he says, you know what? I want you to give your life away to me. It looks very different the uh, way we live our life when we do that. When I got into my devotional time in the book of Ephesians, the how do we do this uh, is expressed in Ephesians chapter 4, 23 and 24. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24. And Paul writes, And be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind, having a fresh and tarnished mental and spiritual attitude, and put on the new self, the renewed nature. Be continually renewed in your mind. It takes a daily saying, I'm not going to live a life of the flesh. I'm going to give my life away. That's where the meaning comes. That's where my fulfillment's going to come is as I surrender my life. But in order to do that, I have to have that renewed mind. I have to have those thoughts that like to be it's like a, the world a magnet to the world. I have to have those crucified and say, give me the mind of Christ about my life. See, a lot of people live in in depression or in a sense of dissatisfaction or hopelessness about their life because in the physical realm they didn't get what they felt they needed maybe even in, in their journey of life up to this point maybe they're you know older now or whatever and they say I haven't had my dreams fulfilled I didn't do what I thought I would do as a young person and look at my life the answer to that is this give your life away 
right now, give your life away and say, Jesus, use me, use me. Because as you use me, I am going to change other people's lives. Yesterday in the, in the sermon, I preached about uh, Peter and John at the, the gate beautiful and how the layman born from birth was there. And Peter said to that man on that day, that day was the day for his healing. He said, look at me. That man had been begging at that gate for years and years and years. He was born lame from birth. And that day was a divine appointment when Peter initiated the healing because Peter had the flow of the Holy Spirit. He had the mind of Christ for that man that day. And he initiated the healing and he said, look at me, look at me. And, and the, and the truth was, as that man looked at him, that became the divine appointment for his healing. And Peter was the one that extended his hand to the man and pulled him up and the man was healed. Listen, still today, God says, go be my eyes to people. I want to show you people that need my message, need my healing, need my power, need my word, need my encouragement. That is how he wants to use us. To fulfill our lives is when we give our life away. And it's in, in it could be in a text message, it could be in an email, it could be in a note, whatever. But we have to have a renewed mind so that we're open to the Holy Spirit's voice speaking to us so that we can speak his words. Once again, I want to challenge you. How does God want you to give away your life today? It's in the simple things. It's in the things that seem to the world that don't matter, but they matter to God a lot. It matters to God significantly. These are game changers for people's lives. But we have to have a renewed mind, as Paul writes, and be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind. I want to challenge you this day on Monday, the very day after Resurrection Sunday, to say, you know what? I'm going to be challenged to give my life away today. I love you. I'm praying for you. God bless you. It's a new season. It's a new season, and you're going to walk in greater power and authority. God bless you. Bye-bye.